Hi there, Pisces. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's get your messages, Pisces. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Um, thank y'all for the love, the support, your um, your donations, and your super chats, your super thanks. I'm sending that love back to you all tenfold, okay? So let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Pisces and your loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the center, blocking the interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Pisceans. And protect me as I channel the messages for Pisces. So let's see, Pisces. My name could be Veronica. Just her Veronica. So we have abandoned, left for dead. Hmm. Left for dead. Exposed, truths revealed. Mm. Multiple babies, Mari Povich style drama. <laughs> mm. What's, what else? Naive financially, big spender. It's a lot going on, Pisces. By deck, we got a uh, bougie, I'm so fancy, PTSD, post-traumatic post trust, stress disorder, unchanged, unaltered and living in the past, divorce, dissolution of marriage. <clears throat> uh, so, I mean, I'm getting multiple situations here. I feel like somebody's ex getting exposed Pisces for being a fucking narcissist, okay? Whether it be man or woman, I do see multiple babies, Maury Povich style drama. I feel like somebody is going around just producing more broken family dynamics, okay? They're spreading their seed everywhere and they're not, like they keep having these families or making these children. And I mean, if they're taking care of them, that's cool, I guess, but <clears throat> well, obviously that is. We need people to take care of their kids. But I don't know. Narcissists can be very um, unhealthy, you know. But sometimes, you know, a lot of us got kids by narcissists. And they, you know what I'm saying? Narcissists, have, they have to put on this front as if they're such, they're doing their job as parents. So it's kind of hard parenting with a narcissist. Those of you that know, you know. Just got to trust and have faith, really. <laughs> it's really not much you can do with the narcissist. You can do something, but not much. Just period. But um, it just, I feel like the truth is coming out about, maybe the truth could be coming out about how a child is not somebody. But I feel like the truth is coming out about somebody's character. The way that they're moving. Like, maybe the truth could be being exposed as to what this person is trying to make you look like. But the whole time they're looking like, well, what is your problem? Because you're making all these kids and you're not able to keep a family dynamic going. But you're talking about Pisces and what they got going on. Yeah, they might be single, but they're single by choice. Like, I, I, you know, it kind of like feels like that energy. Like somebody is trying to prove points about you. And they don't, they can't prove no points about you because they don't even have, they don't, like, this person, this person got a lot of shit going on. So, what's abandoned, child? Left for dead. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. One more time, please. Okay, yeah, so we got the Five of Swords reverse exactly, and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So somebody could be getting embarrassed with naive financially big spender. I feel like somebody is faking their wealth. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be somebody you do have kids with, or this could be somebody in your family. But the Ten of Pentacles reverse, Five of Swords reverse. Somebody could actually be going to jail too for um robbery, armed robbery, or um, I just heard second degree murder. Okay. I'm also getting um, something involving 
finances, scamming or laundering or something, fraud. But somebody could be feeling defeated or ashamed or embarrassed. Someone could be losing a lot of money, losing a business. A business could be falling apart. Like something is just looking crazy <laughs> as hell for somebody. What's abandoned? Left for dead. The Seven of Wands reverse. Leo Mars. Yeah, so maybe this is somebody that is, uh, I said admitting, <laughs> admitting defeat. Okay, seven ones in the reverse is like burnt out energy. It's burnt out. Somebody is burnt out here. Uh, someone also doesn't have like a backbone or they, they, don't, they don't really set boundaries. <clears throat> this could be a man too that keeps falling into this trap. I mean, I feel like they're karmic. There's, there's a karmic masculine here, but... I feel like they fall into the trap of getting with gold diggers because they want to fake their wealth and their status. So you're going to attract what your, you know what I'm saying? You're going to kind of like attract what your energy gives off mainly. But I feel like if you're being flashy or something like that, then you're just going to attract different people. You have to, I mean, you're going to attract people that's attracted to that. And mainly people that are attracted to that are gold diggers. Just like for me, like I know if I dress a certain way, if I look a certain way, people, the wrong, I might get the wrong attention, but I feel like, I feel like there's a difference for you being comfortable with yourself versus you acting a certain way, right? Because you being authentic and dressing however the fuck you want to dress is going to attract the right people to you. You're going to attract the wrong people, but it's all about who you entertain at the end of the day. So if I dress, you know half naked or whatever of course i'm going to attract a bunch of people that are sex crazed people and that's fine that, that don't have shit to do with me <laughs> like that's how you are that don't mean i have to deal with it i'll just cut you off or we don't have to talk and i'll move on to somebody else that sees past that it's all about your perception like that don't have shit to do with me right but then you have people that do things for attention and they just entertain the wrong attention. And that's how you get caught up. Like, if you're authentic with you being a certain way, then that's one thing. But if you're acting like something that you're not, you're going to keep going in the same cycle. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you're true to who you are, it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? You're going to attract the right people to you. You're going to attract people that understand you for who you are. It's all about really your self-esteem and, you know, your confidence. I feel like this person needs to do a lot for validation, whoever this is. They need a lot of validation. They seek a lot of attention and now i feel like they're caught up in some shit that they don't want to be in whether it's you or whoever this is <laughs> like somebody yeah the lovers in reverse somebody keeps choosing the wrong lovers because they don't want to learn from their past mistakes three of pentacles in the reverse somebody just they don't want to take accountability for what's going on this person could be indecisive or maybe they don't know who they are like their sexuality they don't know if they like the opposite sex or not like I don't know, but it was abandoned with the Seven of Wands reverse. The Knight of Swords. So this could be you surrendering a situation here with the Seven of Wands reverse and the Knight of Swords. I feel like something is unblocked for you. You could be losing respect for somebody or somebody has, um, yeah, they, they just, once the respect is lost in something, it's just, not gonna work so i feel like you could be focusing on something else there's some sort of big changes here that's taking place or you're seizing an opportunity you're focused on something you have a vision for something here this could be you also letting your guards down maybe not being so defensive and more direct with what you're saying to someone or whatever Because this could be direct communication, but this could also talk about you seizing some sort of opportunity. You moving forward very swiftly, but what's the seven of wands reverse? Mm. Eight of wands, yeah. Something about communication. Yeah, so this is moving forward in a positive direction very swiftly. This could be travel. Okay, for romance. Okay, so y'all might have a little date or something, child. But, I mean, this doesn't have to be that. This could just mean that you are... This could be a sudden change, a swift change. There's something that could be being communicated here. What's the Seven of Wands reverse Eight of Wands? 
the magician. Okay, so maybe there's a swift manifestation coming in for you, uh, Pisces. You have the devil reversed. There's a fast manifestation, or there's a manifest, something that you've manifested is coming in. This could be Yeah, something that you are you're wanting to create or do, or you've you're thinking about it with this mercurial energy, Virgo Gemini energy. So um your thoughts create your reality. Mm hmm So you could be manifesting communication from someone. Okay, some of you guys could be creating something. Somebody could be a scientist. Or you working in like a lab. But you have a clear mental, like you know where you want to go. Okay. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're also cultivating and creating better friendships and partnerships. Okay, because you're not letting trust issues get in the way of what you desire, what you truly want. So you're like, you're keeping your heart open. You're keeping yourself, you know. Yeah, so... Hmm, I feel like something is becoming unblocked. What's the Knight of Swords? Something is unblocked. Your words hold a lot of power too. The Magician, the Eight of Wands, whatever you're communicating or or your your mind, whatever you're visualizing is coming to life here. You're alchemizing something, transmuting something. What's the Knight of Swords? Okay, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so... So the Queen of Swords in reverse, this person is very unforgiving. They're a liar. I feel like you didn't lost respect for this person. You didn't lost respect for this person because they're just a fucking liar. They're bitter. They're mean. Okay. Very resentful or just very, they're just unforgiving. They hold on to a lot of shit. <clears throat> Shit. So there could be some sort of big changes coming in for this person or I don't know. I feel like you're being really direct about something that you're saying maybe about this person you're being really honest and it's like i guess they don't like that because they try to use manipulation mentally or they try to beat you down with words this could be a very verbally abusive person but i feel like it's not working what's this knight of swords queen of swords it's like it's like you finally see who somebody is so it's like their words don't hold no weight no more it's like okay yeah you're calling me a bitch today you're calling me a loser a deadbeat or whatever you know bitches like this be doing I just feel like you're like, oh, okay. That's nice. <laughs> like, I feel like you don't give a fuck, really. I feel like you don't care what nobody got to say, especially this person. What's the Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, reverse? Somebody here. Yeah, the Six of Wands in the reverse. Is somebody here gossips a lot? Yeah, the High Priestess. <laughs> There could be like a smear campaign here with the Six of Wands in reverse, or this is like um somebody with really bad intentions. This person has a big ego, a lot of pride too. Um, but they lost at something. Somebody's not being recognized for something, or they're not um being celebrated for something here. Somebody could be losing friends or something like that too, because they're losing respect. They run their mouth too much, and if you, the, the shit that come out their mouth is lies. For some of you, you could be on a public platform. This person could be sending in nasty energy to you in some sort of way. They could be gossiping about you with a group of hoes <laughs> that are all losers. They're all equally losers. Okay. Just. But I feel like you're alchemizing something because uh, this Queen of Souls in Reverse is trying to. They're saying something that I feel like they're trying to penetrate your energy in some sort of way. Let's clean the souls reverse. What are they doing? Page of Cups here and the Five of Swords. Aquarius, Venus here. We got Leo, Jupiter. <clears throat> Sagittarius, Mercury. So, yeah, I feel like someone is trying to win at all costs. 
Okay, this Queen of Swords in the reverse is trying to win at all costs here. This Knight of Swords could be somebody coming towards you or there's just a manifestation coming in really quickly because you're focused. You're changing your focus from this shit to something else. Like, you don't give a fuck about what somebody's saying or that's how a person that's coming towards you could be feeling. But I feel like Page of Cups here, people admire you. With the page, I feel like this bitch secretly admires you too, but you know... <clears throat> You know how haters are. They don't know if they're a hater or if they, you know, hoes are weird. But, um, Page of Cups talks about self-expression. So, for some of you guys, you could be seen in a public eye. I feel like you're showing up, too, as somebody that's innocent in a situation because you ain't do shit. You ain't do shit. So, you have, I feel like you have good news coming in or, I don't know, it's something about what you're saying. Your words hold a lot of weight and power. This is creative expression. You're doing something creative or some confirmation. So um, somebody here admires you. There's somebody that's specific that admires you. And they're trying to like win at all costs. So they're trying to maybe stop people from admiring you. With the five of swords here, just whoever this is could be a bully or they're bullying somebody that's innocent, that has admired. They're just showing up as a hater. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's a hater, basically. Yeah, somebody. So, what's Six of Wands in reverse? Death Call reverse, Scorpio. <clears throat> yeah, so. What's this one's reverse death card reverse? Somebody here just won't release something, won't release someone. Four or four is on the clock here. Okay, or they just won't change their fucking ways. Somebody here just... Somebody has a smear campaign on someone because they admire you here, Pisces. So they don't like that. Okay. I, I really be trying to figure out, like, okay, what's next? Like, what, what is actually next, bitch? Because this is nothing to be tripping about. Like, <laughs> I feel like somebody's just slow, maybe. Because <laughs> a lot of these people do be slow as fuck. Like, they really are. To a soldier verse. Yeah, there's a, there could be some sort of lies being exposed. Okay, what the fuck is a six of wands reverse, death card reverse? Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody got rejected and they're still holding on to the person that rejected them. So somebody here got a smear campaign or they just, I don't know, they're just being a dick. Three of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like this person is like, oh, what was me? And they playing victim and acting like they, they're not doing anything. That could be what that Page of Cups is too, with the Five of Swords. Page of Cups, Five of Swords. Somebody is trying to win at all costs. They're acting like they're the victim in the situation and they're a fucking liar. So, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords or this your person, you're focusing on something else or someone else because you're like seeing that, that they don't have any morals, this person. So, and maybe this is not something that they're actually showing. Yeah, just by you observing someone. You're evaluating. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Just by you observing someone and looking at their actions or looking at certain things, things are just like adding up. You're putting two and two together and it's making sense. You're just like, okay, yeah, this this the person that's causing a problem or this is the person I don't want to be around. So I feel like you're just deciding to focus on something else or maybe you could be switching up on somebody because you know what kind of game they're playing. I, you know, I'm like that too. Like, you're not dumb and I'm not going to sit and ask you anything especially if I know you're a manipulator, you're a gaslighter. I'm not going to sit and ask you anything because I know it's just going to be an argument. So what I'm going to do is just ignore the fuck out you. You know what you did. I don't have to tell a grown person what the fuck they did. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's that kind of vibe. Maybe somebody could be getting, yeah, they're getting ignored or something like that. And they're like, oh my God, you're ignoring me. Why? Bitch, you know why? 
you know what I'm saying? You know why somebody's ignoring. I feel like somebody's trying to be petty, but I feel like you're pettier. <laughs> like, not even to do tip for tab, but I feel like you're pettier. You can beat this person at their own fucking game here. They're not, they're not smart. Queen of Swords in the reverse. They're, they're not. They don't have any wisdom to share with no damn body. So I feel like they're trying to act this like innocent or whatever, or they're trying to act like they're not doing anything, or, oh, it wasn't me that did that, or it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you know it's them, so you're not paying attention to this hoe, or whatever. <clears throat> so anyways, what's exposed? Seven of Cups. <laughs> Scorpio, Venus, what's exposed with the Seven of Cups? Ten of Wands. <clears throat> so somebody, what, confused as to why they're being exposed? Somebody here could be a drinker. Someone could also be a bartender here or a bottle girl. Okay. I feel like somebody is acting dumb. Like, this is the kind of shit that make you want to slap the fuck out of their ass because, bitch, stop playing. This is the, like, somebody playing in your face or playing on your intelligence. That's the shit that get on my nerves. <clears throat> I just know how to fight my battles, but I really do hate when people play in my face. Like, bitch, you know what you did. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you want me to slap the shit out you? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that's the energy I'm getting. Like, somebody is real petty, but like I said... Yeah, the Empress and the High Priestess. Uh, I, I just feel like all you got to do is ignore people like this because they just, they lame. They've been lame. So, you know, so somebody, what, is burdened, they weigh down, they're stressed out, they're having anxiety or whatever the fuck this is. They could be overindulging in substances or somebody's like, I don't know. I feel like somebody's like really irresponsible. What the fuck is the Seven of Cups? Six of Swords. <clears throat> yeah, so somebody, somebody's like confused. They're like confused as to why you're moving in a peaceful and calmer waters. For some of you guys, you're packing up your stuff and you're moving. You're moving into a new home. I see a house right here. She got all this stuff she's carrying. This could be physical labor, manual labor. You're carrying shit. You're packing. This lady got on a, uh, it looks like a sports kind of like outfit or a yoga outfit or like a, an outfit where you work out in or you you work around the house in or you something like that <clears throat> you exercise in things so you could be moving packing you know or whatever but you're moving in a peaceful and calm of waters with the six of swords you could be like i said relocating this could be your guides are moving you out of something or moving you away from somebody's ass and they're like confused well where are you going or why are you doing that yeah three cups in the reverse you don't want to be friends with this bitch or you don't want nothing to do with them they're gossiping here. These are fake friends gossiping or whatever this is. What's the Seven of Cups with the Six of Swords? Instead of bitches taking accountability for their actions, they want to blame somebody. It's like, bitch, you're the problem. What's the Seven of Cups, Six of Swords? <clears throat> Three of Pentacles reverse in the world, period. Yeah, some of y'all could be moving. You could be traveling. You could be going to a different part of the world, honey. Mm -hmm. But there's a new beginning, a new cycle is uh, opening up. There's a new beginning, yeah. <clears throat> or somebody's confused as to why people don't want to be their friend no more. Three of Pentacles in the reverse is like a group thing, a collaboration that didn't work out. Or some of you guys are learning how to be more independent or this is a person that's connected to you that was connected to this kind of person they're they're releasing this person leaving them behind okay the world talks about wholeness and completion celebrating feeling good about yourself you know so I'm seeing something about a portal here. <clears throat> Somebody could be astral traveling or they're doing some sort of spell work. Okay. But it didn't work. They could have worked with like three or more people to do this, to have energy for a ritual. 
but it didn't work. Your spirit guys are moving away from it and somebody's confused. Well, why are you moving into peaceful and calmer waters or what's going on? I feel like they ass is getting stuck in this damn portal and their truth is getting exposed. <laughs> Somebody here don't have no goals, no ambition. Or these are multiple people that don't have goals, ambitions. They're lazy. They don't have any work ethic. So I feel like somebody's going to have to get it together. On their own. Because you want to be more independent. I feel like you're moving away from codependency. Yeah, the emperor. This could be your divine masculine doing this. <clears throat> What's the ten of wands? I need to dehydrate. I mean, uh, hydrate because last night I went out, honey, and I was around like a lot of hookah, the smoke. So that fucked my voice up. I need to go get my water. King of Wands, Leo energy. What's the Ten of Wands with the King of Wands? The Ace of Cups, period. So some of you guys can have new love. You could be meeting somebody new or this is a renewed love here. This could be the King of Wands here with the Ace of Cups. This could be just you having more confidence in yourself and more love for yourself. And you're leaving somebody because you're you're practicing self-love, self-care. You're Somebody's getting let, they ass left out in the cold and you're going to go celebrate. Okay, like just period. This is a lot of prosperity, abundance. A lot of blessings and things like that. I feel like you're going to go celebrate and somebody else is going to be sitting in the Ten of Wands. Hella responsibilities, hella way down. They're going to have to do shit that they need to be doing for a change. Because I feel like somebody feels really entitled. And then they got to nerve to be petty, a fucking liar, a gaslighter, a user is what I'm getting from this energy. It's real yuck energy. Wow, look, the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Judgment in the Ten of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys have a counterpart. What's this King of Wands right here? Ace of Swords. Yeah, clarity. The truth. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of new beginnings taking place. Just period. Somebody has gotten clarity, the truth. Somebody is making the right decisions. They're confident in making the right decision. So... Ace of Wands reverse, four swords reverse. Hmm. What's multiple babies? Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of betrayal here around a baby, around children. Maybe this King of Wands was betrayed by this Queen of Swords. Yeah, because we do have the Page of Cups, Five of Swords. Somebody tried to use a child to win at all costs in the situation. They could have said, lied and said the child wasn't yours, or they lied and said, I don't know, they were using children in some sort of way. But there's an ending here. This could be a divorce or I don't know. But what's multiple babies with the Ten of Swords? The Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is a betrayal here to stop you from being focused on something. Somebody here ruined their own reputation. This could be definitely about kids. Yeah, something that's coming out about how somebody used you for money. As a man, I feel like this is a man I'm talking to. Because I see a hoe here. They the only loser in the reverse. So, you know, I really feel like, you know, and this person, they so fucking prideful and egotistical that it's like, well, yeah, I had a baby on you, but, you know, I'm still innocent or I didn't do anything or I didn't. It's like, bitch, you did and you're getting embarrassed for it. You need to sit in that shit, sulk in it and see what the fuck wrong with you. That's what the fuck that is. Like, be for real. Somebody is like petty as fuck. They're really petty. And I feel like that petty shit is going to land them somewhere where they don't want to fucking be at. Definitely. So something here, somebody did something repeatedly to you though, Divine Feminine. I feel like this is this person that gossiped and talked shit about you. I feel like they talked all this shit about you to cover up something about themselves. 
Okay, this could be like, uh, for some of y'all hearing something about workplace harassment, somebody was doing something at your job or something like that. They were trying to avoid something from happening. Maybe between you and this particular person. What's the Ten of Swords? The Temperance came out sideways. What's Ten of Swords? Somebody... Somebody slandered the fuck out of somebody. Somebody really tried to ruin someone's reputation. They badmouth someone badly. And the same thing that they're badmouthing you about or your person about is who they are. Could be a Sagittarius here. Gemini, Virgo. What's the Ten of Swords with the Temperance? The Knight of Wands. <clears throat> so I feel like you're being protected from something. With the Temperance, something is being balanced out for you. This is you healing and um peace and harmony is being restored in your life here i feel like uh i'm looking at this branch that's laying in the middle of the road he just went around it he just went around the branch so it's like you're overcoming an obstacle or challenge or you kept moving forward with confidence like you you could be very adventurous very spontaneous like you like doing new things you're a big risk taker you don't let your you don't let certain things that could block you or has or have the potential to block you keep you down or stuck or way down. Like you're a go-getter, you're a leader, you're a natural born leader. Okay, like you There could be a reconciliation here. But I feel like somebody really tried to do something strategically. Like they tried to I don't know why posts think they're just the cleverest thing. They're not. It's like these hoes do not be clever. What's the Knight of Wands? Somebody here wanted to, um, yeah, the strength card, period. Leo, Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius, tempers with the Knight of Wands. Leo here. But yeah, you overcome your obstacles. Like I said, this is you building the confidence, the strength, <clears throat> going after the things that you want and desire. And that's just period. Justice reverse. I feel like you really embrace your uniqueness. Someone here likes to point out your flaws or point out your problems and all that. But you're a go-getter, you're a leader, and this is a lazy bitch. I feel like somebody judged you because of your, that fire, that path. I feel like you're a very passionate person. Somebody's just a punk. <laughs> they're, they're a loser, just period. Somebody don't have shit to say about you wrong. They just a damn loser. Like, it's just, it is what it is. Let's see Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They just, I don't know. I don't really understand this losing shit right here. Yeah, the devil reverse. Let's see <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the devil in the reverse. The Empress, period. So I feel like you detach from some sort of devil energy. You take you've taken your power back, or you um, I feel like you really transmuted something here because somebody just keeps your name in their mouth. Like somebody's really a fan. They just keep your name in their mouth all the fucking time. <clears throat> this person too is very non-committal. They could be sit, somebody could be sitting up here pregnant, and <laughs> they got so much to say about you. <clears throat> Because maybe this mask didn't want to come towards you, but they got a whole bunch of other shit going on that they need to be focused on. It sounds like you could be pregnant all the fuck you want. Nobody gives a fuck about that. You feel some multiply under the right circumstances. Not all of us. You know what I'm saying? We all make mistakes, but I'm saying I feel like somebody's just a hoe. <laughs> okay, let me just let me just not even uh, you know. Um, I'll be nice. But when I see shit like this, I'm just going to call it like how I see it. I don't give a fuck who feel bad or whatever. Because I feel like this some bullshit. <clears throat> Somebody's reputation is ruined. But they try to ruin yours, though. Who the empress? 
I feel like somebody really needs to. Who's the Empress here? <clears throat> Three of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's a cheater. There could be gossiping too around the Empress, but I feel like somebody's a cheater. They're a hoe. They overindulge in stuff excessively or something like that. What's the Empress with the Three of Cups in the reverse? Eight of Cups, yeah. So yeah, I feel like you see the bigger picture of something and you're walking away. You could be walking towards this empress or there's somebody coming towards you because someone is removing these fake ass friends that are gossiping about this damn empress and they're the ones sitting up here looking crazy as fuck in this damn reading. So somebody's detaching themselves from a group of people is what I'm getting <clears throat> because they're finding out that they're a bunch of losers. This could be their ex that's been, I don't know, just being messy. But somebody, I, I feel like somebody's an obsessive cheater, though. Somebody is, is like, they cheat a lot. They just are cheating, and whether it be man or woman, whoever it is. <clears throat> What's naive financially, big spender? Six of Cups in the reverse, Scorpio. And two of Souls reverse. Yeah, some lies have been exposed about somebody from your past. Somebody you got kids with. <clears throat> okay, I feel like, you know, this is you releasing and letting go of the past. These could be people in your childhood, people that you grew up with. This could be like a high school sweetheart, too. I'm getting like a very long relationship that should have been fucking over and done with, but. Things happen in divine time, and I guess certain lessons don't get completed in, you know, in a shorter time frame. It might take longer for some people, but so lies have been exposed about how somebody was just using somebody for money. They're a user, they're a loser, and that's just what it is. What's Six of Cups in the reverse? Knight of Cups here and the High Priestess. Okay. So, yeah. Somebody is listening to their intuition and coming towards you. I feel like this is a date. This is a date here. That's you, Pisces. So is the Knight of Cups. Somebody could have a somebody could be on the Aquarius Pisces cusper. I mean on the cusp of Aquarius. So yeah, somebody's following their heart. They could be coming towards you here, High Priestess. I feel like that's you, Divine Feminine. I feel like that's you. Somebody's like growing up. They're leaving the past in the past. Everything that needs to be exposed about somebody is being exposed. And somebody's coming towards you. <clears throat> yeah, five of cups. Now somebody's sad or they they in here in regret or they crying or whatever the fuck these hoes do when they get caught. <laughs> whatever they be doing. What's the two of swords reverse? Judgment, period. Yeah, this is like judgment talks about apportioning blame. <laughs> apportioning blame here. This is an awakening. <clears throat> forgiveness like this is you stepping into your purpose what's two of reverse judgment a karmic lesson being learned yeah the nine of pentacles yeah so i feel like you're being vindicated with the judgment and the nine of pentacles this is you self-sufficient abundant reliable a go-getter a very great business owner i feel like you're very down to earth you can have virgo in your chart somewhere or something scorpio aries leo sag but the lies are being exposed about who the fuck you really are Somebody seeing your true essence of who you are or multiple people are. And this bitch right here, they just look like they are fucking, they, they're gossiping. They're a liar. Somebody just looks like they're a liar here, period. And they are. <clears throat> that's how they look. And that's what they are. That's what they are. That's how they look now. Because people couldn't see it at first. Or the right person the person that was for you or whatever, however this shit is going, they couldn't see it at first. So, I'm trying to figure out what they're coming for. Mm -hmm. 
I got so many. Um, uh, y'all don't know what deck I want to pull from. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't want to pull from that. Let me see. Give me a second, Pisces. I always got to do this during my readings because every time I have a deck pulled out, it's not the deck that I actually want to use. What you gonna do for big mama for real? What you gonna do for my birthday? I love Lotto. She's a Capricorn. You be dealing with a Capricorn. What you gonna do for my birthday? Let's see. This deck is called the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Give me a card here for my Piscean's. Please and gracias. <laughs> oh, when being a hating bitch goes wrong, that shit always goes wrong, though. It's just never, you know, but whatever. Let's see. Give me a card for Pisces. That's why you bitches need to mind your business. Falling Angel, number 19, Spiritual Narcolepsy. Ooh, that came out reversed. Let me see, did I have a reverse? I don't know. Oh no, they only got one meaning, so I'm gonna flip it back. <clears throat> so it says, you are being cautioned now not to fall asleep. Oh, it says falling unconscious. Yeah, spiritual narcolepsy. You are being cautioned now not to fall asleep or go unconscious. You have been flying above the strife and suffering of the world and angelic bliss. However, you risk being seduced by the beauty and comfort of your situation and losing track of your aspirations, your wings. As you fall, you pick up speed heading toward the trees below and a possible nasty landing. Remember that all you need to do to stop being a falling angel is spread your wings to halt your descent and then find an updraft again. So that could be, okay, yeah, wow. That's why this is in the reverse. Somebody was getting ready to um, take the wrong turn on their journey. If they would've, if they would've, if nothing would've came out about this lame hole right here and the mess that they created, then somebody would've took the wrong path and they would've been considered a falling angel. They would've fell from grace or whatever. I feel like that's why that's in the reverse. Do not be seduced by the fallen angels, your supposed friends and companions who are ready to use you for their pleasure and have only their own interests in mind, period. Period. As you soar once more in flight, receive the gift of the falling angel as an invitation to study the forest from above the trees. In other words, to analyze your situation from a higher perspective without being entangled in its thorny branches. Once you understand what needs to be done, head back to your lofty heights and stand by for the right moment. Action you take now may backfire. Stay conscious and wait until you are guided to change. You will know when the time is right. Yeah, there's a big change coming in here. Somebody getting ready to take action. With the Knight of Swords, those are big changes. That's seizing an opportunity. The Seven of Wands in reverse. I feel like that's just um, saying, too, that something is unblocked for you, too. There could be some sort of communication coming in, I feel. About this. Yeah, so wow, somebody didn't abandon their uh their mission, their calling when it comes down to who to you, because you and this person have something to do together or whatever the fuck. So yeah, this is nice. So this was your reading Pisces. I hope that this reading gave you some clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, bam. I didn't even have my clicker together. Bye-bye, Pisces. <laughs> See you later.